okay so ninth standard students a very good morning and warm welcome to the online sessions of jc english high school social study is our subject and as of now we have already completed the geography's ninth chapter that is the tourist centers of karnataka okay and question answers are pending that you will be getting by tomorrow means the exercises now today's chapter we will go with the last chapter of your part 2 geography that is the population of karnataka it is chapter 10 the chapter name is population of karnataka geography part okay so population as of now we all know about the population what population is it exactly the population is the number of persons which are living in a country so for this chapter what we will do we will first go with the introduction to the population and then we will go for the Uh, population of Karnataka. A group of people living in a particular geographical area is called population. So, what is population? A group of people living in a particular geographical area is called population. Okay. So, we all understand what population is. Population means counting of each and every persons who are staying in a specific geographical area. Suppose if we are telling this much of people, we are having one thirty-five crores of people in India. So it means within the geographical area of India, we are having one crore thirty-five one uh, one thirty-five crores of people are there in India. So that is the population of India. The total count of individuals in a country, whatever it is, male, female, everything. Okay. counting everything it gives the populations of a country it plays an important role in the economic development of that area okay without see we are what i told you in previously also that we are having natural resources but natural resources are natural resources still we are not the we are the concerned persons the humans okay or the individuals or the populations whatever you tell till we will not go and use that one there is no use of that natural resources so it plays and means the population plays an important role in the economic development of a country in that specific region or area okay so the number of total population of india or the total number of population in karnataka they are responsible for the economic growth of that particular country or state or place see if you take the country then state then district okay then taluk whatever but the population is the main thing persons who are the main for doing the economic development of a country people or individual with their several activities with the help of intelligence skill skills talents utility of natural resources properly enable the country to develop just now i told you that people or individual with their several activities people do several activities we are not sitting in home like this okay so what happened we do several activities to get our basic need first means home the shelter okay food shelter cloth for getting all these thing we have to perform several activities or else the cloth will not magically come to us or the shelter we have to construct a home we have to do agriculture then only we will get the food so what here it is telling people or individual with the several activities with the help of intelligence people or individual are having the intelligence how to do it it is the person who thinks and he then discover okay i will do this so that i can get the output like this okay all these formulas and all are there to get an output but these are made by the human beings only computer gives so many results to us within fraction of time 
but this computer was made by some human being only and it is being operated by a human being only so with the help of intelligent skills talents utilize of natural resources properly if we waste the natural resources what will happen in the near future we will not get the natural resources and we will be in a difficulty which enable the country to develop okay which enable the country to develop doing all these activities we make growth for ourselves and as well as for the country the development of a country depends on the size growth rate age distribution quality of population quality of population means how literate they are how physically they we are okay so the development of a country depends on the size size means how many much population is there if a country is overpopulated what will happen the scarcity of food will be there okay so growth rate how growth rate is there means one day how many are getting birth and how many are getting death okay that is the growth rate so growth rate age distribution how much people are in the age of uh, 0 to 15 15 to 30 like that there should be a similarity in this okay and next is quality of population as i told you now this is the introduction for your population now we will go for the size of population now we will be fast we have discussed the introduction as a whole now everything we will discuss regarding to karnataka okay so here what they are telling we will just check it out karnataka ranks 8 in the country with respect to its area area wise karnataka is in the 8th position out of the 29 states of our country area wise how much area it is having for that one karnataka stands 8 it ranks 9 with respect to the size of population wait see first one we have gone through the area wise area wise we are in the 8th position but population wise out of 29 state we are in the 9th place okay according to the 2011 census every 10 years we are having a census census means counting of individuals in a country okay in between this 10 years we can assume that okay it is growth rate is that and we are now in 135 crore 140 crore okay but the exact figure we will be getting as per the census on 2021 because 2011 we got again we will be getting it in 2021 so according to the 2011 census total population of karnataka is 6 crore 11 lakhs 30000 Seven hundred and four. This is the total population of Karnataka, not in Bangalore. The total state Karnataka, the total count of population, that is the census of the population, as per two thousand eleven, it was six lakhs eleven six uh, crore eleven lakhs thirty thousand seven hundred and four. Exact figure they give. Okay. but in between you will be arising a question but in between it has been again arising means the increasing in the population is happening of course it is happening maybe it is now 6 crore 11 uh, 6 crore 11 lakhs it may be 6 crore 21 lakhs but we don't know the exact figure because the counting has not yet get done it will get done and we will get the exact figure approx figure we can tell as per the growth rate but the exact figure we will get again on 2021 okay of this of this means this total population of karnataka as per 2011 3 crore 10000 57742 are males and 3 crore 72662 are females okay or they are see similarities are there 3 crore 3 crore but male rate growth rate is higher than the female in karnataka because in karnataka the growth rate of males are 3 crore 10 lakhs <coughs> 
excuse me and whereas the growth rate not growth rate the population of uh, females are 3 crore 72,000 so a difference of 10 lakhs is there okay it is very low it is considerable it is not a bad thing okay but we should go with the this one figures only 3 crore 10 lakhs 7,742 are males and 3 crore 72,662 are females Distribution of population is not same in all the district of the state. Distribution of population means all the states of Karnataka are there. But the distribution of population is not same. Somewhere it is very low. Somewhere it is very dense. So as per that record, Bangalore urban district means the exact Bangalore. Okay. The Bangalore urban district has the first position with the largest population and so Bangalore urban is the having the largest population in Karnataka okay and Kodagu district occupies the last position Kodagu district is having very less population after Bangalore Belagavi, Mysuru, Tumkuru, Kalaburgi and Ballari districts are other densely populated district so Bangalore is the first one Last one is Kodagu district having very less of population, it's a hilly area, okay. But after Bangalore, Belagavi, Mysuru, Tumkuru, Kalaburagi and Balari district, they are also densely populated. So with this, we have already completed the size of our state Karnataka. In the next video, we very soon, we will be discussing about the growth and the density of population of Karnataka. So a very thanks to you for viewing this video and stay fit. Thank you.